What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick comparison between the gesture-based navigation on the Android P beta running on my Pixel 2 XL right here and the gesture navigation in the Oxygen OS running on the OnePlus 6, the new flagship from OnePlus. Now, Android is definitely moving towards a gesture-based navigation future, and I want to compare these two and sort of talk about what each of them does really well and maybe what each of them does that could be improved. Now, I've talked quite a bit about the Android P beta in past videos, but just as a reminder for those of you who don't remember, you have a single pill-shaped button at the bottom there. You can swipe up to get into your recent apps, and then a longer swipe takes you into the app drawer. So doing a longer swipe gets you into the app drawer there. Once you do swipe up really quick to get into your recent apps, you can sort of swipe through those like this. And then you can also do some really cool things like copying and pasting text. So if you want to copy some text from one app, then you can go to another app and then paste that text there. So that's a really cool feature, one that I really like on the Pixel 2 XL. And it's one that's very useful. Now, one of the things that I don't like about the Pixel 2 XL is that when you actually go and do the long swipe up, it actually takes quite a bit of time for the app drawer to populate when you actually do that long swipe. It's a little unnatural and a little awkward. In addition, once you actually go into an app, for instance, like the Photos app here, when you go into the app, you can see that there's still a navigation bar here at the bottom. So you've still got a navigation button. It's still the elongated pill shape, and you also have a back button there. So that's still taking up screen real estate. And one of the main reasons that a lot of people and OEMs are interested in moving to gestures is to get rid of that navigation bar so you can reclaim some screen real estate. So I'd really like to see Google get rid of the navigation bar, perhaps have some gestures to actually get the back. I, I suggested before doing perhaps a left swipe to go back and that would be enable you to get rid of the back button and then perhaps the navigation bar as a whole. So a couple of things there that are perhaps modifiable for Google in the next few versions that I'd like to see, basically getting rid of the navigation bar when you're in an app, and then also maybe cutting down on the time it takes to get into the app drawer when you do the long swipe. Now let's talk a little bit about the OnePlus 6 navigation gestures in Oxygen OS, and they do have some really good ideas here. So when you turn on the navigation gestures in the OnePlus 6, basically when you're in an app, so say I'm in Google Chrome, and I want to go home, all I have to do is swipe up from the center right there at the bottom of the screen, and it's going to take me to my home screen. This is very much like the iPhone 10, and it's definitely the right idea, I think. Google could definitely implement that on the Android P, the next beta version, and I think it'd be an improvement. Now what about going back? So if you want to go into a page, and then you want to navigate back, you just swipe up from the left or the right. So I can swipe up from the right, and it'll take me back. If I go into the same article again, swipe up from the left, it also takes me back. Now this is a very, very natural gesture, but one of the problems that can occur with this is if you have something down here, for instance, like this little close the dialog box, the little X right there, you could accidentally hit that when you're doing the swipe up. It doesn't happen too often, but it is something that can be a possible problem with this implementation. And it is one thing that OnePlus, I think, is taking into consideration in their implementation. Now, the sort of downside with the OnePlus navigation gestures, I think, is how you access the recent apps menu. And so the way you access recent apps is if you're on the home screen or you're in an app, you swipe up from the bottom and then pause and then the recent apps will populate like that. The only issue with that is, and the only thing that's annoying is that you have to pause for quite a while. So I swipe up, pause, and then it pops up. It's not an instantaneous thing. It's definitely not as smooth as the recent app gestures on Android P. So you see here, I just swipe right up and they're there. Here I have to swipe up, I have to swipe up and hold that's giving my app drawer. And that's also another thing that can possibly occur is that when you swipe up on the OnePlus 6 using the gesture navigation, sometimes if you're not all the way at the bottom, you'll actually end up going into your app drawer because if you swipe up anywhere other than the very bottom, if you swipe up from here, you're gonna get into the app drawer and you're not gonna access the recents menu. So a couple of things I think that could be combined between these two gesture navigation ideas. Uh, certainly for Google, they need to come up with a better way to get into the app drawer a little quicker. OnePlus needs to get a way to get into the recent apps a little quicker. Perhaps a hybrid of these two methods might be ideal and is something future OEMs and even Google might consider for a final build of Android P later this summer. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on the Android P beta gestures and the OnePlus 6 gestures. Personally, I like the OnePlus 6 gestures a little bit better at this point, just because as you can see, there is no navigation bar. Even when I go into an app, I don't have a navigation bar down there. So I'm saving that screen real estate and that's something that I really like. 
Anyway, let me know what you guys think, which one you prefer, which one is better, how they could be improved in the comments section below. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. Also at gadgethacks.com where I write about Android. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. I really appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.